Family, friends, and co-workers of Antonio Crum are calling on the community to help them find answers about the 34-year-old's death in West Melbourne last Thursday. She was super fun, like super fun. She knew so many people in the area, originally from out of state, but she grew up here. And she had a lot of friends that loved her. She was very fun outside of work and inside of work. We worked together for about four and a half years or so at the dental office that we were at. She was there for maybe 10 years. There's a growing voice in the community that believes that she was murdered. Go and let the police know what kind of a person she was because how she passed away is not the, the person that she was. It's very shocking to us. You know, the, the details that we have gotten um, is very shocking. And we just really want the West Melbourne Police to get out there and find out what happened to her. We reached out to the West Melbourne Police Department on Antonio's case and they sent West 2 News this statement. This is an active death investigation. As with all death investigations, we are working closely with our partners at the medical examiner's office and the state attorney's office. Beyond that, I am not able to comment further. Antonia's family and loved ones are organizing a candlelight vigil for her this Sunday at West Melbourne City Hall. In Brevard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.